What's up, Sun Squad? I told y'all 8 30. That's 8 30 Eastern Standard Time, my time. What's up, Soul Squad? Y'all, we are here for what? Movie trivia night. What's up? How everybody doing? What you got going on? Good evening. I'm interrupting your dinner. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> but it's after 8.30. We should all be settled. Everybody settled. Ready to play movie trivia? Look, Miss Fendi say, I'm here. Low Life say first. What's up, Low Life? Hey, Katrina. Hey, Tony. Hey, Miss Leslie. They all the door. Now, hey, Tiffany B. Hey, y'all. It's movie trivia. I wrote, I, I think I got like 18 movies. I was trying to do 20. Hey, Carissa and Angie. Hey, Elizabeth. We gonna give people a little bit of time to get in before we get started. Because you know everybody don't be getting their notifications. Hey, Shirley L. She said, hey, I'm ready. I don't know. I don't know if y'all ready for these ones. I, I, I dug in and got some classics. So, I don't know. I got my water ready. And I already drunk half a bottle before I even got on here. I don't know how the rest going to last me. Because when I get off here with y'all, I'm doing what? My grocery list. I got to go grocery shopping. Hey, Veronica. How you doing? Good morning, good morning, good morning. Y'all, let me just say, I know I told you that I was getting a clothing video. I made the clothing video, but I was recording myself, and I was trying, like, like, trying to do it through the mirror. I didn't like the way it came out, so I didn't post it. So I'm going to redo it tomorrow and um, post it because I try to do it myself. You know, I get tired of bugging my baby Jackson all the time because I need a new tripod and an automatic clicker again. And I was trying to do it myself, holding, holding the camera and doing it through the mirror as a reflection. But I, it didn't come out right. And I, it was too far back. You really couldn't get it in there. Oh, I did say good morning, didn't I? Hey, Hubble Lion. <laughs> I was so used to coming live in the morning. So I didn't like how the video came out. So I didn't even edit it. I was like, is the Merle, I see, because I see other people or other bloggers, they do like through the Merle. But it made me look too far back. And you really couldn't see the three, the pants. I did all three pairs of pants. And you really couldn't see. And I said, no, nah, I don't like this. It's too far away. Um. Uh, Thank you, Veronica. There she go right there. Uh, thank you, Veronica. And so I didn't like the way the video came out showing the clothes just in the mirror. And just the reflection didn't work for me. So I said, I'm going to redo it because, God, for that, I got tired. I, I'm going uh, <laughs> to redo it tomorrow morning, so, um, tomorrow, so I can put it up tomorrow. Because I just ain't, ain't want to put up any clothing video. Just be putting the video up. I have to at least like how it look. No, they're not expensive. Just that I just haven't got one yet. I had about. I'm gonna tell you one day about being a YouTuber. The most things that you will go through in your YouTube journey is tripods. Hey, Risa, tripods. You go through tripods because you you want to try a new one, and they just no good. And I mean, like I I paid one. The most expensive tripod I paid for was like eighty six dollars. That thing was a hot joke. It, it that thing wasn't even no good. So it's like tripods. It's just like they like a hit and miss. They they get wiggly. The little balls on them that hang with the phone hang at them little. I don't like the ones with the little balls because they get loose and it's just they just a hot mess. Like this one I got now that I got y'all on. I paid thirty seven dollars for this one last year, but the little ball piece of it. That hangs the phone that make it go vertical or horizontal, it get flimsy, it get loose, it stop working. So now it only holds horizontal, it won't hold vertical. So I was like, you know what? You can't win with tripods, man. I think that'd be the most expensive thing that you would constantly always be replacing this tripod until you find the right one that works for you. 
I'm trying to get everybody time enough to get in here. Hey, cooking with DD. We got 16 thumbs up, 39 people. We got to start this game. Let's get this. 44 people, 16 thumbs up. Oh. Thank you, Living Life in Florida. You got to get you one. Get you one. Anything on the website, 15% off. If it's not the mirror, it's anything else on that website that you come across. And they have a lot of big sales on that on that web, on that that website, too. So, including the 15% off and all the stuff that's on sale, you might find yourself a new piece of stuff for your house. I'm drinking on Tito's and vodka and pineapple. Girl! You after my heart. You after my heart. You know why? I got those same. I got those same things, but I like ice. I might have to go old school and um order me at least two ice trays. Cause if I don't have ice in my drink, I won't drink. I don't care if the juice is in the refrigerator. I don't care if the alcohol is in the refrigerator. I just gotta have my stuff on ice. If I don't have my stuff on ice, I don't want none. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, living life in Florida. So that's why my stuff is really sitting too, because I could have been wanting me a drink, but I don't have no ice. And I said, I'm going to invest into some ice trays. I ain't had no ice trays in years. Yeah, oh, try ice machine. I had one of those too. I don't want no drink because I need some ice, girl. I don't have no ice. All right, job ready? Even though y'all ain't making the math, math. We'll go ahead and do this anyway. So, guys, we are doing movie trivia. Excuse me. I have about 18 movies. I dug in. I dug into the grind. So, this is what you do. Get your pencil and papers ready. Hey, Lenani, just because... Some of these movies, like, I be doing these movies and have y'all never even heard. Yeah. Uh, I um have y'all have any heard um heard of some of these movies and um uh, what my cash app is um dollar sign flower f l o u r fifty four dollar sign flower f l o u r fifty four and the name is going to say Deron Waller Deron Waller because that's my son. Y'all cash out to ban me. <laughs> I can't I can't never get a cash out. Don't ever do bingo through your cash out because they will take you down. Okay, so get your pens and paper ready because some of you guys might like some of these movies and you might go find them on Tubi because Tubi have a lot. Y'all stop sleeping on Tubi. Tubi have a lot of old movies and some of their new original ones are good too. They making up their own stuff. All right, so we gonna get started. I'm gonna go in order. I got 18 movies. Get your thinking cap on. Let's play movie trivia. Are you guys ready? Cause I'm telling you, some of the big dogs not in here. So, you know, everybody might got a fighting chest. You know what I'm talking about? Okay. Who? Movie number one, high school, birthday, sister wedding, Exchange student, popular boy, underwear. Name this movie. Hey, Taylor. Oh, she said, I'm at work. I'm listening. Yeah, Shelly L. Shelly L. 16 candles. 16 candles. Nope, not lean on me. That's a good one. Um, Nope, I'm um, 16, not high school musical, JF, 16 candles. Tiffany, it's not sweet 16, so I can't give it to you. <laughs> we got two people that got it. And if anybody else uh, may be delayed, they may be getting it. Molly Ringwall, um, 16 candles, uh, was Molly Ringwall and um, what's that boy name? Mike, um, that little funny looking child, I forgot his name. Um, Anthony Michael Hall. Well, Anthony Michael Hall and Molly Ringwald, 16 Candles. Um, it was her sister's wedding. Her grandparents came with the Chinese exchange student who got to, went to the party and got drunk. Remember, her birthday came. Ain't nobody remember her birthday because it was all crazy over the sister's wedding. And remember, when the little geeky little boy got her underwears and, and showing up to everybody at the school dance. <laughs> yeah. 
So 16 candles. Okay. Hey, Lane. You only watch it once. Yes. It's actually on Netflix right now. So if you want to see a good throwback, it's on Netflix right now. All right. Power. That's movie number two. Oh, my phone. My other phone going dead. I got to put it on charge, but it's okay. Movie number two. Power Hungry Principle. Misfits. Outcast. A popular girl. A rebel boy. A brainiac nerd. Sardi detention. Storytelling. Name this movie. Oh, J Factor, The Breakfast Club. Oh, yes, The Breakfast Club. I think that was too easy. The Breakfast Club. Yes, Lanani, Lanani Kitchen. Yes, Living Life in Florida, The Breakfast Club. Somebody want to lean on me to be part of this category so bad. Yes, Molly Ringwall again. She played the little princess, the goody two shoes. Hey, Carissa. Yes, The Breakfast Club. And you know, Judd Nelson played in it. He was the rebel in that. Yes, The Breakfast Club. Ali, um, What's that girl name? Ali somebody. She played in it. She was like the um, she was like the outcast per the outcast one. Love the Breakfast Club, 16 Candle, and the Breakfast Club. If you haven't seen them in years, those are good movies was for their eras. Um, Ali Sheedy, yes, thank you. She played the um the outcast with the with the all the black and stuff. None of these people was friends when they went to um when they went to this um, Saturday Detention, but when Saturday Detention was off, yes, they became good friends. So, yes, yes, throwbacks. But both these movies are on Netflix if you want to give them a watch. Yes, okay. Ooh, this is a good one. I don't know why I was just like, in this era, I was like, I got to, I be want to try to stump y'all movie people. Okay, movie number three. Car thieves, high school student, best friend, minivan, Thor, the mechanic, blues club. Name this movie. Nope, not Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Nope. I don't think nobody gonna get this one. Nope. Because this is one of my favorite movies back in the day. I love this movie. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, not Scooby Doo. This is this is old though. I don't think nobody gonna get this one though. Now, ooh, I sing Emma Spy. I love that movie. Nope, nope, nope. Ah, the so TLOs. Let me see. Um, a broken date. A broken date. Um, siblings. Nope. Nope. Uh, okay, let me do it again. A high school student, a broken date, best friend, Thor the mechanic, uh, a minivan, car thieves, blues club. Name this movie. Um, police chase. Oh man, I gotta get this one. No, nope, not Cooley High. Um, nope. Somebody said, we need Bill. And when I said somebody, y'all gonna be like, oh man, I like this movie. I'ma give, I'ma not Blue Street. Um, I'm a, I should get the person. Oh, somebody just so close. Uh, Ease by you. Nope, not Ease by you, um, uh, Miss Frank. Nope. Um, what else I can say? Um Office building. I gotta say an office building. Um climbing up climbing on side of a building. Um Elizabeth shoe. Yes! King of bitches and babysitting. Who said that? Just King of yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, Jay said, I can't think of the name. Adventures and Babysitting. Y'all remember the girl Elizabeth Shue? She played in it. She was a teenager. She had this big old date. Her boyfriend canceled her date. So she ended up babysitting this brother, this brother and his sister. Her best friend Brenda was like a nerd, wore glasses, and she convinced her to go to the city because they was out, I was trying to say Connecticut, New York. Um, they was in Connecticut and convinced her to go to the city and to go into the city to meet up with a boy 
They go to the city. She took the kids with her. Car thieves. They pop in the wrong side of town. Car thieves try to steal the minivan. The minivan got tore up and all messed up. They had to get it fixed. And when they went to the uh, mechanic shop, the mechanic guy looked like Thor because the little girl was obsessed with Thor. And then remember when they was running all through town, they ended up in a blues club. And they got on stage. And she got to singing about taking care of these kids with the glasses on. And her, her friend, the kid was all on stage and the man actually I think B.B. King actually played in that movie because he was doing the guitar and they were singing the blues <laughs> oh yeah look I dug deep for that one because I was like oh my god that was one of my favorite movies so if you guys can find this somewhere it's a really old movie but it's called Adventure and Babysitting you can't go wrong with that movie. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, Camille. Are you ready? Summer Vacation. Movie number four. Summer Vacation. Hot Dog Truck. Uniform Company Designer. Mother Out of Town. Petty Cash. Pretending to be a single mother. Name this movie. Name this movie. Teenager. Yes! Don't tell mom the babysitter did. Somebody said it earlier. I said they gonna get that. Yes, Whitney. Yes, um, living life. Yes, don't tell mom the babysitter did. Uh, Christina Applegate, again, one of my favorite movies. Yes, don't tell mom the babysitter did. And they, <laughs> the poor old lady had a heart attack. They stuffed the bitch in the closet. <laughs> they stuffed her in the uh, No, they did call the ambulance. They could know they did call the ambulance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, losing! Don't tell mom. Yes, losing. I say you love that movie. I love that movie too. That was a good movie. These throwbacks, yeah. Hey, Erica. Oh, they remade that. You used to watch that all the time, Tiffany. Somebody got lovely bones. That was a good movie. Yeah, you said it earlier, but you said I type slow. <laughs> all right. This is another one. Movie number five, okay? Oh, let me see. Popular Mother. School Dance. Fading Family Picture. High School Nerd. Father is a Nerd. Crazy Scientist. Lightning Rod. Name this movie. Yes, Erica, Back to the Future. I, I, that was a given. That there was so many clues in that one. That was that was that was such a given. Yes, Erica, Back to the Future. Seemed like you only one that knew it because I don't see nobody else. Okay, the the chat is moving really really slow. Yes, Miss Sandra. Somebody said monsters. No, Miss Frank, not monsters. <laughs> Yes, we got two Back to the Futures. Yes, Back to the Future. Somebody said Weird Science. Yes, Right in Hand said Back to the Future. Yes, somebody said, um, 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 no, it's not that. Another classic. I can't wait to watch these all the time. Yes, Low Life, stop playing. Are you serious? No Life says she never seen Back to the Future, y'all. No. Living life united said I knew it, but I typed too slow. I typed too slow too. Although like that's a classic because we got um weird science was good too. Um oh no, it's not boring. We got back to the future one, two, and three. Um, yes, I love weird science with the, with the boys. They bought um they, they bought the girl to life. What was that model name? She was a famous model in the 80s, and she was married to Steven Seagal at one point. Um, weird science, they took all these pieces of all these magazines, they put it together, and they put it on the Bobby doll. <laughs> What's her name? I forgot her name. She was a very um Gina Davis, yes. Kelly LeBrock, thank you. Kelly LeBrock. She was she was very beautiful, and she was married to um, Stephen Seagal at uh, one point, and she was the model in um, Weird Science. She was the doll that came back to life. 
She said, listen here, Johnny. I will fuck you up. I said, go, boo. <laughs> I love that. Yes, those lips. Yes, yes. She was a very famous model back in the day. Okay. Um, I forgot where I'm at. Oh, he did. Back to the future. Um, so that's a good movie, too, if you go watch. And you know another good movie that I could talk about it now, but, and I'll put it on here like weeks from now. You guys don't remember. But you know another good movie since we've been nostalgic and we're talking about the 80s? Anybody remember War Games with Matthew Broderick? War Games? Oh, my goodness. War Games. That was a good movie. If you want to see something, a good movie where World War II almost started a war, look at War Games. Oh, someone said, I haven't seen that. Tiffany, you like me. You done seen them all. Yes, Elizabeth. War Games was a good movie. Uh, say, are you ready to play a game? Yes. Say, a little freaky soldier. <laughs> Oh, that is old, um, low life. That's like really like probably 82 or between 82 or 87, somewhere in between there. Um, War Games is a good movie. Yes, yeah, yeah that would be a good one to try to look up and what a good, good one to watch. Uh, Veronica said, I haven't seen any of these, heard of, uh, never watch. Good movies to watch. All right, y'all ready? Um, Movie number six. You don't know that one either? Go check it out. Yeah, 1983. I say between 82 and 87, somewhere in there. So it was 1983. That's, um. Uh, thank you, Erga. Okay, y'all ready for this one? Movie six. Advertising, advertising executive. A cheating wife. A thief. A carjacking, good boy. <laughs> Involuntary joyride. Robbery, revenge, scam, gone wrong. Name this movie. Ooh, Mr. Mom. Oh, my God. Y'all, oh, my God. All these movies we missed, I'm going to put that. That was Michael Keaton. I love Mr. Mom. I went to the movies and seen that, and that was so good. Not Fifty Shades of Grey. Advertisement executive, cheating wife, no like ruthless people. What I love with Bette Midler, I love that. Um, thief, carjacking, involuntary joyride, robbery, revenge, scam, gone wrong. Name this movie, and it's a comedy. No, not the wrong turn. Wrong turn. It's a horror. Not Selma. That's like a civil right. Type movie, Selma. Uh, wrong turn is a horror. Uh, this is a comedy. And uh, nothing to lose. Yes, living life in Florida. What? Tim Roberts and uh, Martin Lawrence. Nothing to lose. Tim Roberts was an advertising executive. His wife was cheating on him with one of his employees. Um, uh, Martin was a thief, carjacked. He carjacked Tim Roberts. He carjacked the wrong person. And um, because he that man was going through it because he found out his wife was um his wife was cheating on him and he enjoyed the ride and then he he cooped him into robbing the person that he was cheating on his wife with a revenge robbery yes nothing to lose somebody saying all these horrors <laughs> oh man yes nothing to lose. The Dan DeVito playing it. Yeah, I think Dan DeVito, because Dan DeVito, Tim Roberts is the executive um, guy that he tried to rob. I don't know, uh, but I know she's not a troll because she's in here all the time and she never caused any problem. And you know, I don't own that last name, so I really don't even know. I'm um, life. Now, Lord said, I haven't seen any of these movies. Uh, these are good throwback movies. I'm telling y'all, I got to make it. I got to make it hard. All right. Movie number seven. A psychiatrist. A new patient. Loads of phobias. Family vacation. Follow the doctor. 
constant calling named this movie. I was about to say, Indecent Proposal. That's a good movie, too. You don't think so? You got a halfway journey. Yes, Erica, what about Bob? Journey, you can't put in just Bob. It's what about Bob? Richard Stryfus and um, Richard Stryfus. What's the other guy's name? What about Bob? Yes, what about Bob? Now she put in uh, about Bob. <laughs> Look, I was too busy having babies. So she put in Friday the 13th. Yes, it was What About Bob. Gerald Gaines is recent. That's on Netflix. That would be good. Jennifer Lopez played in The Boy Next Door. Bill Murray, yes. Bill Murray and Richard Dreyfuss. Uh, Bill Murray was a freaking nut in this movie, okay? If you want to laugh, man, this one comedy was really good. Uh, if you want to laugh, man, Bill Murray is hilarious in What About Bob? The movie is real. Yeah, that movie is real hilarious. Enough is what J. Lo trying to escape her husband, faking her death. He was rich. He was an abuser. His mother really didn't care. Her friend helped her escape her death. So that's not enough. But you give me all these movies, that's good. I can think of it for the next time. I love movies. Okay, let's see. What about Bob? It's a classic. You, I love it. Yeah, I love enough too. And I think that's on Netflix as well. I, cause I think I recently saw it up there a couple of months ago. But you know, Netflix be taking things all. Say my keyboard is tripping, Dirty G. <laughs> Netflix be taking things all so quickly though. Okay, this one, movie number eight. I was really trying to find some things to say about this movie without giving it too much away. But I hope I gave enough clues to have you guess. But I'm going to say it's a comedy. It's a comedy. Dream prom date. Injury in the home. Private eye. Lies. Sticky hair situation. Reunited. Name this movie. A dream prom date. Years later. Injury in the home. A private eye was hired. Lies was told. A sticky hair situation. Name this movie. Yes! Living life in Florida. There's something about Mary. Yes! What's, what's our boy? Something about Murray is with Cameron Diaz. And what's that boy name that he always remind me of? Um, he, uh, he played in the Falkers. The young man that played in um, Keeping Up with the Falkers. Uh, what is his name? Um, yes, everybody who says something, Elizabeth, something about Mary, um, right hand, something about Mary, living life for Florida was first, something about Ben Stiller. Yes, Ben Stiller, um, um, Ben Stiller, um, Dan, Cameron Diaz, and then the other man, um, he was famous way in the he was famous way in the A. The sticky head remember he was he came and 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 um <laughs> yeah. and she thought it was jail on his face and she said give me that jail and she put that jail she put his cum in her hair <laughs> oh my goodness I'm try um it's a Dylan boy what is that Matt Dylan Matt Dillon, Ben Stiller. Matt Dillon played the um, private eye. And when Matt Dillon um, found out how pretty Murray was, he wanted her. He wanted him. He wanted her for himself. So he told lies to the guy. So the guy wouldn't try to reach out and find her. But then he went and did his own thing. Yes, y'all remember that? So it was uh, Cameron Diaz, Ben Stiller, Matt Dillon. Something about Mary. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was so gross. It is. Even when you watch the movie, that is so gross, man. That it, and yes, that was so gross. This woman walking around with in her head, her hair sticking up from it because she thought it was moose. That was so gross. Okay. Next movie. It's a comedy. 
bank clerk, magic, spirit, supernatural, nightclub singer. Name this movie. Uh, Jay said, not my kind of humor. <laughs> it was funny. It, it, it went along with the movie. With everything that was going on in the movie, that, that piece went along with it. Nope, not ghosts. Ghost's not a comedy. Clue is it's a comedy. Nope, not ghosts. Let me say it again. A bank clerk. Awkward. Magic. Spirit. Supernatural. Nightclub singer. Not the nutty professor. Um, a yellow suit. Long chin. Name this movie. Wooden. I'm going to get one final clue. But I know when I say this clue, everybody going to get this movie. A green face. Name this. Yes, Erica. Yes, Jade. Yes, Tiffany. Somebody said the mask. <laughs> the mask. No, yes, Jade. The mask. The mask. Y'all actually said it before I said the green face. So a lot of y'all, yeah, y'all, y'all, y'all caught on. Cause remember Jim Curry worked at a bank. He was not Ace Ventura. He Jim Curry worked at a bank, and um, Ace Ventura was the pet detective. Ace Ventura. He was this man investigated disappearing past. Though I say y'all good at this, y'all must have seen these movies. Yeah, but remember Jim Curry was a bank detective. Remember the girl that worked in the nightclub and he was all awkward and everything. Yeah, and then he found that um yeah, smoking. Yes, yeah, you know somebody say that movie I iconic line in that movie. Very iconic line in that movie right there. Yes. Veronica said, Yes, I agree, low life. <laughs> Are y'all ready for this one? The, well, I know a lot of life, you don't like scary movies, but The Mask is not really scary. The Mask is a comedy because the only thing that it do when he do find a magical mask, it is superpowers. And in fact, I fell asleep at times. It is superpowers, but what it does, it just changes personality very, 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 very wild and crazy. And it turns his face green with a long chin and um, a big old yellow suit. And it just may give him a lot of confidence. So, yeah. And it deals with mobsters and all this other stuff. So it was good. Okay. You ready for this one? I still haven't seen any of these movies. And I think The Mask is actually, she said, AKA scary. <laughs> I think The Mask is actually on Netflix too. Some of these movies that I'm really naming today, I didn't get them off Netflix because, you know, I do my Google search and put stuff in. But um, I think a couple of these movies are actually still, Mask is on Netflix as well. Okay. This one. This is also a comedy. Only date attractive woman. Hypnotize. Seeing the in, in, seeing inner beauty. Overweight, broken chair, rich family. Name this movie. Yeah, Shallow Hall. Mo Thomas, where you come from? Shallow Hall. Yes, Jay. Shallow Hall. Yes, Tiffany. Shallow Hall. Yes, Mo Thomas. Mo Thomas, you just came in there, but nowhere. Yeah, she's like, I know this one. Yeah, Shallow Hall was black. What's his name? Jack Black. Kit was Cameron Diaz in this one again? Yes. Yes, Shallow Hall. Yes. Um, um, um Jack Black. I believe this is Cameron Diaz as well. And then that man, he was a real life um, motivational speaker guy in real life. I forgot his name. He played a little guest experience. And so what this movie was about is that Jack Black played a, um, played a dude that he only loved, he only messed with beautiful girls. His father told him all life, only mess with attractive and beautiful girls and all that stuff. So he would never give nobody. Oh, that was Gwyneth Patro. That was Gwyneth Patro. Okay. Oh, thank you, Tiffany. Um, she, um, he would never give other women a chance. You know, if you weren't pretty, he ain't want you. Look, hey, Michelle, she said, I need an easy one. So, see, <laughs> if you're not pretty, he don't want you. 
So he got hypnotized. And so he was actually was able to see a person's inner beauty as, instead of their outer beauty. Uh, Gwyneth Paltrow playing this. Yeah. And she wore that suit. Man, that was a fat suit. Y'all remember they went to the restaurant and the chair broke? And the chair broke. And, um, and I love that movie. Um, Shallow High um, Hall. That's a good movie. All right, y'all ready for this one? Um, movie 11. Thrown out of his band, desperate for work, posed as a substitute teacher, elementary school, battle of the bands, name this movie. Thrown out of his band, desperate for work, Posed as a substitute teacher about to lose his apartment. Elementary school students. Battle of the bands. Name this movie. Yes, y'all got that with Jack Black again. Jack Black again. School of Rock. Look, low light say I got this one. <laughs> <laughs> Look, everybody who wants to get everybody through that up in there. School of Rock, School of Rock. <laughs> Look, we try to get some good, easy ones. We try to get some. <laughs> one of my favorites. Yes, that is one of my favorites. I like Jack Black. I like the movies that he played in. School of Rock was one of me and my kids' favorite movies when they were growing up. That was one of our Friday night, grab the popcorns, get some slushies from 7-Eleven, and sit in them hot dogs. I used to take my kids, true fact, when we when we used to do um, movie night when my kids was growing up, we used to um, go to 7-Eleven and get hot dogs and Slurpees, and I used to pop popcorns, and we used to come back, and I remember that was one of our movie night movies when we went to 7-Eleven. The kids got hot dogs and a couple of snacks, and they always everybody always got a large Slurpee, came home, pop about two or three bags of popcorn, and we looked at that. It, it's the smallest things that you could do with your children that they will remember forever and the things they will cherish. If you think you don't have any funds to do anything, your kids will love movie night. You can make it special for them. Like you can put blankets down on the floor, um, pop some popcorns and kick pillars out, make it a movie night with all of y'all down there, pick their favorite movie and, um, and, um, and your kids will love it. Those are the times that your kids that remember. And those are things when your money is slow and you think you can't entertain your children. Man, those are the precious moments in your kids' life. We did so many movie nights, even like on Halloween. I remember one Halloween when, when um, Monster House first came out. Monster House had just got released. And I didn't have no money for my kids to go trick-or-treating. But back then, you know, I was getting food stamps and stuff. So what we did is that my mother bought Monster House for us. And on Halloween night, when uh, we had Monster House, we made up all the little candy bags for them. We did, again, a movie night. We made, like, some chili hot dogs. Everybody got their own candies and all that stuff. And we sat down in the living room on Halloween. We turned the porch light out. Back in the day, you put notes on your door said no candy. And, um, and you know, and you did what you did for your kids. So it's a lot of things that you got to be creative as a parent when you, when you, um, when you going through things. Yes, yeah, so with my grandchildren have a night. Yes, I love it. And, uh, and you know, we look, that was the first time we saw Monster House as a family. And Monster House now is one of our most watched iconic movies. Even now, I just showed it to my granddaughters. Um, now they like Monster House. And Monster House is on Netflix. It's a good, good cartoon, animated cartoon for kids. It's scary, low life, so you can't watch it. <laughs> All right, guys, you ready? Um, we did School of Rock. All right, gotta move on to my next page. Look, somebody, <laughs> Lee said, yes, it is. No, Monster House was really scary to be an animated. That's so scary. <laughs> so, a lot of people may do that one. Y'all, my house so hot. We turned the heat off. It was 70. 
Ladies, you um oh uh, uh, yes, me too, Journey G. It was 79 degrees today in the DMV. It's going to be 60 or 70 tomorrow. I'm telling you, spring trying to fight her way through. And I can't wait to get out on my patio, y'all. We're going to have some nice on my patio, too. We're going to have some nice on my patio. I can't wait to get out on my patio. For sure, for sure. Um, okay, movie number 12. I mean, I need some water. Let me grab me something to drink. Yes, I do got a patio, so yes, it's going to be nice. It was 79 in Maryland, and I was outside today. Yes. All right, movie number 12. Um, elementary school geeks. Grown-up geeks. Conspiracy theorists living in the basement of his mother's home. Cheaters. Video Game Champion, Alien Invasion, name this movie, name this movie, Geeks, Conspiracy Theorists, living in his basement of his mother home, Alien Invasion, Video Game, no, no, Video Game, excuse me. Cable guy. No, not neighborhood watch. No, not the wizard. I'm trying to think of something else I can give out to give out to it. Um yes, living life united. Living United United Pixel. What um now this is this is really up to date, y'all. Pixel. Um living um living life united. The only one that got it. Pixel, Adam Sandler. And Pixel, remember, he was a geek when he was um, a kid. Him and his friends was geeks when they were kid. Uh, he was in this competition, and the guy cheated, and he lost against his video games. They played nothing but video games. And uh, remember, the other guy was a, a conspiracy theorist. He lived in the basement of his mother's home, his friend. Yes, and then I'll try to say president. Remember, um, um, his best friend became president of the United States. The guy that played a mall cop. What's his name? They always in their movies together. They got to play a mall car. Yeah, look, 2015, and that was up to date. And you know what? I'm mad about that because um, I think Pixel should have been a, a part two to Pixel. If you've never seen Pix Pixel 2015, Pixel was a good movie. Adam Sandler is my dude. Right now, he over there tearing Netflix up. He, you know, he got his own, um, he got his own production company. He keep all, if you ever notice what his movies is, he, he do what Tyler Perry do. If you ever notice any of Adam Sandler's movie is that he keep all his friends working. You see the same thing in the movies. Hey, Jennifer, what's up, girl? He, he keep all his friends working. So every time you see him, he's a hustler. Yeah. Every time you see his movies, you see all the same people in them because he keep Kevin James. Yes. He keep his friends working and his movies. And I have not yet seen a bad Adam Sandler movie. I love all Adam Sandler movies, except for this new one. Let me take that back. He got one now on Netflix that I can't get into. It just dropped a couple of weeks ago. My son Andrew watched it. He said it was good. I can't think of the name right now. I try to watch it twice, but I think I'm not being fair to the movie because every time I try to turn it on, I'm not. I'm like halfway out of a sleepy or whatever. But this is his first movie that he dropped that I'm really not. Um, I'm really not really into right now. I don't know what it is about it, but I can't get into it. But usually, I love all of his movies. But I think Pixels will most definitely should have a part two. Maybe it would. Okay. Let me see. Um, have I seen The Wrong Missy? Yes, I've seen that. That's funny. Yeah, it's a doc one he just made. Yeah, and it's like, I can't. For some reason, I, just, I can't get into it. But my son Andrew looked at it. He said it was good. No, it's not a comedy. It's almost like a drama. 
Yeah, I pronounced you Chuck and Larry. Yes, Erica. That was my, I love that one. When they were firefighters and his friend wife is dead and they pretend to be married, but they could get medical insurance and stuff. Yes, and Jessica, um, what's her name? Jessica Bill playing it. She plays the lawyer in it. And he started liking her, but he supposed to be gay. <laughs> Yes, that was good. I now pronounce it Chuck and Larry. I love that one. Okay, so y'all need to look at that. Y'all, if y'all haven't seen that, that'd be a real good one to watch. Okay, let's see. Movie 13. Radio disc jockey. Well, back in my day, they call them radio disc jockey. For 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 being more modern, they call them radio host now. Radio host. Kidnap family, fake caller, a bomb, cat and mouse games, a prank gone wrong. Name this movie. Accidental death, family kidnap, caller, nope, not the call, a bomb. The City in Danger, Radio Host, Prank, Mouse and Cat Games. Name this movie. Uh, you know what? This movie is new. It's a newer movie. And I don't think a lot of people seen this movie yet. So I'm not sure if you guys are going to get this movie. But after um, this movie is revealed, I'm going to touch on it a little bit because I think everybody needs to watch it. This is a great movie. So it's a prank, Radio Host. An accidental death, family kidnap, city threatened with a bomb, a caller calls in, name this movie. I don't think a lot of people heard this movie. This movie is very underrated. And, and it actually just came on Netflix last week. But it came out in the theaters um, last year. I'm going to say this movie came out in 2000. 22. I don't want to say 23. And it could have been the summer of 23 or the end of 22. Let me know what y'all give up. I'm trying to see which more I can say about it. Uh, oh, new hire. A new hire. Um, police fire department. Um, let me see. Um let me see what else. I'm um, dead security guard. So it's a radio host who plays mouse and who played cat and mouse games, a prank gone wrong, a family kidnap, an accidental death. <laughs> Not the circle. So I'm going to tell you guys because I think this movie is underrated and I think this is one of his movies that, um, yes, on the line, Tiffany. Yes, on the line. Tiffany, let's now tell them about this movie. Y'all, Tiffany, the only one that got it. Let me just put my paper down for a minute. Let me, let me just tell you guys a little about if you're looking for a thriller and a suspenseful movie, let me just tell you about this movie. This movie, hey, West Coast Cali, this movie is so freaking good. And it's with Mel Gibson. And this movie just came to Netflix maybe a week ago. But I seen this movie like last summer. When you know you go on those um on those fake movie sites and look at movies and stuff, this movie is called On the Line. I'm not gonna get too much about it, but Mel Mel uh, Mel Gibson plays this really famous disc jockey. You know they call them disc jockeys. They call them uh, radio personalities. They call them hosts. Well, he played this very famous disc jockey, and what he does is that he cost his radio um, engagement is pranks. He called people. He pranks people. And um, he's like the biggest prank person ever. He never got pranked before in his life. And his whole team, he ended up hiring a new person. Now, the new person who gets hired, he's not in on the prank. He don't know what's going on. So he's a new hire who just started work at the radio station. But you got the fire, the people, the man that work at the fire department, because I think they friends with the with one of the people who started the prank. They do this elaborate prank. 
this this real elaborate prank. When you watching the movie and you see the movie for the first time, damn, I don't want to see it. Cause you 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 not gonna know. Now you guys gonna know it's a prank. But you gotta look at it. Y'all look at this movie. Oh, you been taking care of your mom. Oh, okay. That yeah, dude. Yeah, family first. Family first. Yeah, I'm not gonna get too much movie away. When I tell you this is a good movie, now y'all looking for something new on Netflix to watch? Go look at um uh, um on the line. This movie is really good. Really good movie. When I first saw it, I was like, are you serious? Really good movie. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> um, movie number 14. Cross, mm, cross Country Road Trip. Two kids, a sister, and a brother. Murder. Witness kidnapping. Crooked cop. Name this movie. No, are we there yet? No. Two kids, a sister, a brother. Money. Bag of money. No. Crooked cop. Murder. Witness kidnapping. Cross country road trip. Name this movie. Good night, live. All right, good night, living life in Florida. Oh, that's the name of the movie you saying. Good night, not Harry Potter. This sounds like don't know. I saw that. Yes, everybody saw this. This is up now. This is an up to date movie. No, 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 Miss. <laughs> not your mama. Not oh, no, no. Key Noll said Jackson. Pursuit of Habs and No Legend of Billy Jean. I love that movie, Erica. That is crazy. Yes, thank you for getting rid of her. That was a good movie. Nope. Nope. Let me see. What else could I add about this movie? A diner. Uh, say the clues again. Cross country road trip. Two kids, a brother and a sister. Kidnap, murder, witness, a bag of money, a crooked cop, um, bathroom, diner, um, desert, um, along in the desert. Name this movie. This is a um 2022. No, not rest stop. Almost got away with it. No. Nope. <laughs> Miss Frank said, almost got away with it. No, I, I could get y'all. And I'm going to say it's a thriller. It's not a comedy. So it's not even too many other clues that I could give you guys because it's like a cross country trip. Um, Yes, the cop and his wife was evil. Yes, it's a crooked cop. A diner, a bathroom, a murder. They witness is kidnapping. Um, a bag of money. Um, fighting for your life alone in the desert. Yes, y'all give up. Yes, Miss Sandra. Thank you. End of the road with Ludacris and Queen Latifah. Netflix original came out a year and a half ago. And it's still on Netflix, in and row. Remember, Luda is the brother. She's the sister. She got a son and a daughter. They was on this road trip. They stopped at this diner to eat. When they stopped at this diner to eat, they ended up staying at this hotel. They was in the hotel room. They heard noise in the hotel room next to them. And let me know, what black person go, if you hear something going on in a hotel room next to you, you know damn well you not going to knock on no door. Oh, you already know this a movie because I'm like, I'm minding my business. You go, you witness a murder. There's a big thing of money and your brother take the money. It's a crooked car. The kids are kidnapped. She's fighting for her life in the desert. Come on now. You know that's the movie. <laughs> that may not be a good thing. Yes. The end of the road. And who played the car policeman? I want to say not Kirk Russell, the guy who played a cop, he's very familiar. 
No, that's a Netflix movie. It's on Netflix. I can't think of his name, the guy that played the cop. He's a good old-time actor. Um, I know him. His name is on the tip of my tongue. I done seen all the... Not, is it Kirk? Not Kirk. It's not Kirk Russell. I know his name. You said, but this is I couldn't watch all of it. Yes. I got to think his name. He's an old time actor. He played the crooked car. His wife was crooked. He was crooked. Yes, mind my business on that one. When you when you on a road trip, you hear some shit going on in a hotel room next to you, and you want to go play Super Saber Hole. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. I didn't like that movie either. Oh, uh, y'all get this um key person up out of here. Lord. Bye, Jennifer. See you later, boo. Thank you for stopping in. Okay. This is another good movie. I love this movie right here. Okay. Charismatic Magicians. The Four Horsemen. Bank robbery, Interpol detective, big massive magic shows, illusionist. Name this movie. I know y'all know this movie. This 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 movie is awesome. I love the heck out this movie. Charismatic magicians. Yes, now you see me. Now, if you, thank you, Erica, if you never seen Now You See Me, man, you got to watch because they got a one, they got a two, and they got a three. Now You See Me is so awesome. It's about these, it's about a group of magicians who, who's good at their craft. They are experts, illusionists, and they put on these big, grand um shows why the whole time you think that they're actually this show is an illusion that it's not real they are really hopping in and out and robbing banks while at the same time putting on performances and shows man i'm telling y'all yes with the cell phones i'm telling y'all now you see me got a one, two, and three, and all three of them is good. Yeah, Willie Her Woody Harrelson play in it. Morgan Freeman play in it. Um, Bo Bridges, thank you, play the cop. Thank you, Journey G. Yes, I I, I couldn't think of his name. He's because he's an iconic actor. Um, Bo Bridges, thank you so much. Um, yes, now you see me is like that is all good. Can the first one came out in two thousand thirteen? Um, now you see me. I think y'all will like that one. Oh, yes, Taylor. How you feeling? You feeling better? You never heard of that? Oh, you got to go do your research. That's the one, two, and three. Very good movie. When you look at that, you're going to like that movie. All right. Let's see. <clears throat> okay. Next movie. Biological Scientist. Underwater researchers, extinct massive creature trapped in the ocean, nearby beaches in danger, name this movie. Biological scientists, underwater researchers, extinct massive creature trapped in the ocean, name, no, not Jaws, no, low life. Oh man, get that person out of here. Um, no, not blue something. Turn to G said blue something. <laughs> no, no. Somebody said so with T and DC cool. <laughs> so I don't let me don't let me do that. No, not Jaws. But the animal is close. <laughs> yes, um, it is the Meg. Who is that? The Meg. I can't pronounce your name, maybe. Catherine, the Meg, the Meg, Veronica, the Meg. Yes, it's the Meg with my boy Jason, Jason Satham. The Meg. Yes, the Meg. <laughs> Not all sober tea and DC cool. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. That shit was funny. It ain't supposed to be, but that was funny. <laughs> I ain't mad at you, but that, but you still got to go. Kick him out the door. 
Oh man. And then when I was reading, I said say at no light. I was like, wait a minute, that's that man. That's a troll. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Oh. Okay, next movie. A senior home facility. Alzheimer's. Letters. A rich family. Poor and passionate rain. An old house rebuilt. The wrong boy. Dying together. Engaged. Name that movie. Um, I don't know why I can't see y'all. Let me touch the screen. All right, I can't, I can't see y'all chat. Yes, Taylor, the notebook. The notebook that will run Gosling. Ah! Oh my God. The man that played the rocker file, he played the old man. Yes, the notebook, the notebook, the notebook. I don't know why y'all y'all chat is halfway. Those are some good clues. Good, oh, y'all know why y'all chat? I can't see y'all chat. Oh, yes, y'all. I am a romantic at heart. Somebody said some damn T.D. Jakes. <laughs> yes. Yes, girl. Yes, he do, Erica. I ain't gonna lie about that one. When I say, before this, my best romantic movie, I love A Walk to Remember. Oh, my God. A Walk to Remember. Another good romantic movie I like is called um, The West Side Story. It's a musical, but it's a romantic, romantic musical. I love The Walk to Remember. I love West Side Story. I love this real old one with Barbara Streisand. And um, her and um, who was the guy named? They kept meeting up with each other. They just couldn't make it work. And then they got married. And then they got divorced. They married. Oh, yeah. And Pretty Woman. And they merged. It's just like when they was together, they just couldn't. They just couldn't make it. They just couldn't make it work. And he ended up becoming some type of politician or something. No, not a star is born. It wasn't a star is born with Barbara Stein. But Barbara Stein played playing in it with uh, not Robert. But his name is Neil somebody. Um, it's an old movie. The way we were. Oh my God, Veronica. Oh my God. I love, that's what, what's that man name? Yeah, Robert Rapper do play in that. Yes. Oh, Lord. If you want to cry, if you want to feel the romance, oh. <laughs> yes, they do, Erga, right? Oh, my God. Before the notebook, Man, the way we were, Robert Refford and um, Barbara Streisand, hmm, you talking about romance at its fullest, y'all got to see that movie. I don't even know, the song was iconic, you know, the song was iconic. Yes, like went to the the song, the soundtrack to that movie was iconic. The romance of this movie was iconic. The acting in this movie was like off the chain and it pulled you in and that is like one of the best romantic movies ever the way we were <sighs> i'm just crying thinking about it okay yes gotta check that movies like urban cowboy <laughs> hey urban cowboy had john Travolta in it i don't know i can't remember <laughs> all right my last and final hey taylor Yes, you working overtime these days. Yes, it's most definitely a classic. Where's the Love Jones streaming right now? I'm gonna watch. The, I think I seen Love Jones on Tubi. I think if I'm not if if I'm not mistaken on Love Life, I actually think I seen it on Tubi. But I think it's on Netflix. Or oh, they go on West Coast Cali. Uh, yeah, it's on Netflix as well. All right, last and final movie for the night, guys. Are you ready? Princess Poppy, 
singing, four inches tall, always happy, scared to be eaten, rescue family, name this movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, Tubi is free. No, not the ball. Yes, Kenya just kind of trolls. And that is our movie trivia for tonight, family. She said, Thumbelina, no trolls. Um, Miss Kenya was the first person to get it, and so far the only person. Trolls, trolls. Somebody said Fern Gully. I love Fern Gully. I love Fern Gully. Yes, I had to throw a little cartoon in there because I. somebody said Puff Daddy. You know, Miss Frank, I ain't messing with you. <laughs> Miss Frank said Puff Daddy. Oh. <laughs> I just looked at the new troll yesterday with my granddaughter. I'm so happy you caught us, Erica. Look, I know I was just saying the comment. I heard Poppy. Yeah, and you know what? I started not to say Princess Poppy, but I was like, if they never seen, they done, they ain't gonna say, they ain't know who Princess Poppy Poppy is. And like say, and of course I never seen it. <laughs> oh, there's a movie called Mr. Right. There's this old movie called Mr. Right with this lady. She was a scientist. I already saw JF. And you got to watch it because it's about to leave Peacock. So if you got Peacock and you haven't looked at the um the holdovers, I saw when it first came on Peacock like a couple of weeks, like a month ago. Uh, Michelle said, I didn't get one. Hey, Kay and Ray, how you doing? Um, um, yeah, that was really good. And it's about to leave Peacock because you got to watch it. Okay, guys, before we leave, let me give you some, um, can we get, I have to, right now, I got stuff I got to do. So I am really done for the night, but I enjoyed the, um, the movie trivia and we'll be back again. I see you tomorrow morning in our, um, Wednesday morning, um, check-in. Uh, Lena Wilson, no. I don't know who that is, baby. Um, good movies to watch, um, to catch up on, especially if you got Peacock right now. I think Peacock is really rolling in the movies. Like I say, it was this movie called You Walk Mo Thomas. It's what we call Lisa Frankenstein that you need to uh, watch. As a country artist, oh, I gotta check her out. She knew trivia is a hit. Thank you, Journey G. Um, uh, Lisa Frankenstein, um, Night Swim. Um, I think um, there's a new, you're into, um, no, Gretchen Wilson seen Redneck Woman. So she, unless, unless Gretchen Wilson's was a remake. I don't, uh, unless Gretchen Wilson version was a remake. I never heard another version before Gretchen Wilson. Redneck woman. So if she she if Gretchen Wilson was a remake, okay, but I never heard any other version. I only heard Gretchen Wilson version. Look at Tiana. I can only be me. Oh, okay. You know that's my girl. Yeah, nice swim was good. Um, Lisa Frankenstein. Um, Lisa Frankenstein was really, really, really good. Um, it was one of those movies you didn't expect. Now, and if you're into Palm Royal, it's good. Yes, is that the one uh, on Apple TV with the missing um, the missing lady? Oh no! Oh no! Palm Roy is the one about the girl who trying to get into the rich club. I wanted to see that. Now, which one? Wait a minute. Is that the one where the mother go missing, or is that the one? Where the um the young girl comes to like Palm Spring and she trying to be part of the who's who's and get on the list and get into the um and get into the club. Which one is that? Cause I gotta I gotta look at that. I put, and I wanted to see and I forgot which one it comes. I wanted to see that one where the girl it's like set in the early seventies when everybody um it said Curl Burnett is in it with Christy Wiggy. I don't know. That's it, so but see, that's the one, that's the one I want to see that. I've been seeing the previews for that, and I forgot who it came on. Thank you. I might try that out tonight on Apple TV, because I've been waiting on the previews for that. 
Yes, hush is scary. Um, West Coast is scary. I'm trying to figure out what's hey Rita, what's new on Netflix? Oh, um, is it cake? It's new on Netflix. West Coast. I'm catching up on season three. Um, what else new on Netflix? I don't know what else new. Sometimes lately, Netflix been really let, let me down with some movies lately. But um, what else is new on Netflix? I can't think right now. Hey, Susie Q. Um. Upshaw new season drop on the 16th. The circle come out on the 17th on Netflix. Um, um what else? Um what else? What else? What else? What else? The, the, the trolls is coming in at the last minute. It's acting really crazy right about now. Um, what else? Um I think that's all I got right now. Oh, yeah, and Peacock got this new reality show with Judge Mathis and his family. It's called Judge It's called um, Judge Mathis and Family Matters. That's real good. He has a beautiful family. Y'all need to check that out on Peacock. And then um, Summer House, um, Martha, um, Martha um, Vineyard. That is good if you're into reality shows right now. Season two just dropped. I look at all the season one. Thank you, West Coast Cali, for doing that for me. I had such a good I'm having such a good time looking at all these new shows. All right, guys. I love you so much. She had to go to the bathroom. She needs some more water. And I am up out of here. For everyone who missed movie trivia, please feel free to go back and look at the replay. We had such amazing time. And I see you guys in the morning. And Wednesday hump day morning check in. I, I'm out. It say, listen to heart like a trap. A watermelon moon by her. Okay. I'm going to check that out. Good night, everyone.